This is Mr. Post, and today's lesson will be on solutions. It is an introductory lesson to unit number 9. For more resources, please visit the website listed down at the bottom. The objectives for today's lessons will be to introduce solutions to chemistry and to define general terms used when discussing solutions. A solution is technically a mixture, so we'll first define what a mixture is, define what a heterogeneous mixture is, and a homogeneous mixture. Let's begin. A mixture is technically a physical blend of two or more substances. We have three examples shown in the pictures below. The M&Ms are a physical blend of two or more substances. There are two or more different colors of M&Ms, so therefore they are technically a mixture. Not commonly thought as a mixture, the hot air balloon is a good example. The air inside the balloon is a physical blend of two or more different gases. And to the right we have a glass of soda. The soda is an excellent example of a mixture. It is a physical blend of two or more substances. One, there are ice cubes in there. There are also sugar dissolved in the water. So there are three substances blended together. It is a physical blend. All the mixtures on this page can be separated out into their individual components. A heterogeneous mixture is a physical blend of two or more substances that is unevenly distributed. You can see different parts of the mixtures in the picture to the right. The picture to the right shows trail mix. I see nuts, I see pretzels, I see peanuts, I see rice puffs as well. There are several things blended together and it appears not as one. It appears as many different things. So a heterogeneous mixture is a physical blend that is, that is unevenly distributed with many parts that are visible and it does not appear as one. Now a solution is a homogeneous mixture. It's a physical blend of two or more substances where the substances are evenly distributed. It looks the same throughout. The picture to the left has purple jelly beans and green jelly beans. Now that picture is not a mixture that is just one substance but it gives us an idea of what homogeneous means to appear as just one to the right I have a glass where yellow food coloring is being mixed with water this is a physical blend of water and the food coloring and once the food coloring spreads throughout the whole entire cup will appear yellow it will look like one thing a homogeneous mixture is a physical blend of two or more substances that looks the same throughout and soon I will have just a glass of what appears to be yellow liquid. Solu a solution is technically a homogeneous mixture. It's where two or more things come together and you cannot see the difference. The picture on the right hand side have a beaker full of orange liquid and a beaker of green liquid. Those are beakers where two different things are mixed but they only appear as one. An example of a solution or a homogeneous mixture would be a solid dissolved in a liquid. For instance, the picture shows salt being dissolved in water. Powdered drinks are another example of homogeneous mixtures. In soda, gas is dissolved in liquid. When it's under pressure, it appears as just one thing. Often overlooked is air. Air is a great example of a gas that is mixed within a gas. When I look at the air, I see one thing. I don't see separate oxygen molecules or nitrogen molecules. They're all mixed together and appearing as one. Cavity fillings are another example of a homogeneous mixture where mercury is mixed with gold and once again takes the appearance of just one thing. When we discuss solutions, there are two key words, solute and solvent. The solute is the substance that is being dissolved. In the picture to the right, the salt will be the substance that is being dissolved in the water. Therefore, the salt is the solute. The solvent, on the other hand, is the substance that is doing the dissolving. Water in this salt-water mixture is the solvent. 
two other keywords are going to be soluble and insoluble. Soluble means able to dissolve. In the picture, salt is soluble in water. Because salt can dissolve in water, it is therefore considered soluble. Insoluble, on the other hand, means not able to dissolve. Oil in water is insoluble. Oil does not dissolve in water. It will separate and float to the top. Therefore, it is considered insoluble in water. Two other keywords are miscible and immiscible. Miscible means that two liquids can mix. An example of this would be rubbing alcohol and water, hydrogen peroxide and water. The picture to the right, though, shows something that is immiscible that separates and forms layers. So immiscible means two liquids that cannot mix. Oil and water, gasoline and water, are examples of things that don't mix. The picture to the right shows a gasoline stain on a wet street. As you can see, it forms different layers, and it is clearly not miscible. So therefore, gasoline and water are immiscible. Now that we've identified key words in discussing solutions, let's apply our knowledge. Here's a situation. My kids have just made a solution without knowing it. They had a glass of water and added salt, sugar, and Cheerios. Please identify the solute and the solvent. Was it a homogeneous mixture? What would be needed to make it a homogeneous solution? Which solutes were soluble and which substances were insoluble? Please press the pause button and take a few minutes to answer this question. Application question number two. Here's the next situation. I like to make salad dressing. In a squirt bottle, I mix olive oil, balsamic vinegar. I shake it up and it mixes, but then separates into layers. Please answer the following questions. The last application question. Your teacher wants to water down rubbing alcohol for use in lab. Is this a heterogeneous or a homogeneous mixture? And from your experience, are the two substances miscible and immiscible? This concludes this lesson. Thank you for joining.